Hey everyone, today we are diving into something new, something powerful, something that can save your life as a React developer. Now imagine this, you have a server component for fetching data, and then you have a client component that needs that data. But you are getting errors like expected as suspendable tenable. Yuck. Now, does it sound familiar? Well, React 19 heard your screams and they gave us now the use hook, the most powerful hook currently. Now, by end of this video, you will understand what use hook does, fix that annoying SSR to SSR data issue and, and look like a React wizard to your coworkers. All right, let's get into this. Now, first thing is the problem. So SSR parents, but we have a CSR child, which doesn't really play very nice here, right? So let's say we have a server-side component for 14 our cart data, okay? Which look like this. So we're having our call, we're having an endpoint to get us uh, some products from the cart, and then we are passing these details to the child component, which is a client-side component. Now, our cast component, it is a client component. And then what is the problem? React hydrated, but the SSL data doesn't carry over smoothly. This can lead to UI flickers, unnecessary state updates, and even some weird hydration errors. That's when the use hooks come in and play the hero to save the day. Now, instead of fetching the data like this, we can actually use that use hook inside our server component. But first thing I will do is import that use hook. So import use from React. The next thing, instead of defining this right here, I'll create an async function that will handle the call for me outside my component. So I'll come just before my component. I'll create an async function and that I will call fetch card data. That will be an async function. And all what it does for me, what I'm doing right here. So basically just await and fetch that API endpoint for me and get me the details and return me the details back. Okay. Now, instead our server component, which is the card page, right? He will be using all the use hook. So I'll remove all this from here. I'll say const card product, I'll call it the same, it's just constant. And also that's equal to use, which is the use hook. Then we'll pass on the async function we defined right here. So fetch card data. Simple as this, okay? That's uh, where all the magic happens in very easy steps. Now, what just happened here? So use fetch card data will post the component until the data is available. It means nothing will happen after this lane until this call is finished and we get our products back or we get an error or whatever. But for our call, it's done, it is completed. So no more basically use effects and no more unnecessary those use states we used to do. And the server component will fetch us before even rendering. So hydration issues are also gone here. Good. Now, Next thing is the client component. So our client component basically received this data and we don't have to do anything at the moment because it's nothing to do right there. Now let's go and run this and see what will happen. So I'll go to my terminal, npm run dev because I'm using Next.js at the moment and I will let this one run. When we run our application, we face another issue. So my card page is not loading, it's having problems. So if I go back to my code again, and what I will do, I'll just open here. And you can see here that it's throwing some very weird problems here at the moment, okay? So basically the problem here is it's expecting actually to have some suspend around our components. So the use hook in React 19 is used to suspend on a promise inside server components. However, our card page component is likely to encounter issues because React suspended boundaries, React expects the parents of any suspended operation to provide a suspense boundary. So we don't have that at the moment. So what we can do is, it's very simple. I'll create actually a page or a component that will hand load actually my page. So I'll create a pages folder and then I'll create my cards page.tsx and then I'll just generate my component and then all what I will do, all the code changes I have done here, I'll just move them right there. Okay. So my actual page is doing my actual page things. So I'll just move all this right there. And 
and return this here great now what i will do is i will import something from uh react called suspense now if you are familiar with lazy loading you may already know what suspense does basically it's your fallback component while your component is loading some data behind the scene for example or if there are any issues or errors behind the scene so suspense gives a fallback for your component so i'll import the suspense from react and then I'll come right here and I will do return and then I'll just do suspense and then if I my suspense I'll pass on my cards page that I created which I have to import it as well now the suspense like I said it provides a fallback so it's a property called fallback and that fallback it, it accepts uh, a value as a gsx which means a component and I'll pass on a different now just saying loading and three dots and that's it and we are done okay so all what we have done basically is just move all our logic which use that use hook inside a separate component okay that handle that async calls for us and keep in mind this is a server side component which does the fetching data for us and because we're using async calls on server side we're wrapping that in a use hook we need to provide a fallback for this whole component okay and that's why here i wrap that component within a suspense and provide a fallback to it now let's run my project again so npm run dev so let's run this one again and you can see that loading message is showing on the left while my api is doing its job in the behind the scene and as soon as it's completed i can see the list of my items in my cart successfully now so my page is not breaking anymore now the use hook actually is, is very powerful and these are the scenarios when you should use it first one is fetching inside a server component so use is your best friend right here next if you need to pause rendering until that is ready use also does it for you natively then the best thing is avoiding the use effect spaghetti. So use make data fetching much more simpler. And that is it. You just have unlocked the secret weapon in React 19. So if you found this helpful, smash that like button, share this with your fellow React devs, and subscribe for more simple, fun, and engaging dev content. Now, if you got any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll reply to everyone, and I will see you in the next one.